Ready to blow your mind? Draw three squares. Now, connect these two corners with a line. This is some angle A. Now, connect these two corners with a line. This is some angle B. And finally, connect these two corners with a line. This is some angle C. Our job is to find the sum of these three angles. If you are good with trigonometry, then this question is somewhat easy to solve. You just have to do a bit of algebra. But where's the fun in that? So instead, we will try to solve it in a fun way using elementary geometry. For that, as a first step, we will draw three extra squares above the original one like this. Now connect these two corners with this line. Look at these two triangles. They both have base 1 and height 2, and both of them are right angles. So, they are congruent triangles, right? Therefore, this angle is also equal to B. Next, let us connect these two corners with this line. Great. Now look at these two triangles. Again, they both have base 1 and height 2, and both of them are right angles, isn't it? Therefore, we can say that they are also congruent triangles. Now this angle B is opposite to the base 1, and thus this angle which is opposite to this base will also be equal to B. Awesome! So what will be the value of this angle? Yes, right. It will be complementary to angle B, and thus it will be 90 minus B. Let us call it angle D. The sum of these angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. Now look at these angles in a straight line. They also add up to 180 degrees, right? But, hey, since both these angles are the same B and D, this means this remaining middle angle is none other than a right angle or 90 degrees. Wow, noise! Now, here comes the magic. Look at this right triangle. Since both these sides are of equal length of one unit, therefore, this is an isosceles right triangle. Next, look at this right triangle. This side length is the diagonal of the rectangle formed by these two squares, and this side length is also the diagonal of the rectangle formed by these two squares, and thus they are of equal length. Therefore, this triangle is also an isosceles right triangle. This means both these triangles are similar to each other. This tells us that this bottom left angle must also be equal to angle C. Oh my God! Look at these three angles. They fit nicely in the corner of the square, and thus their sum is equal to 90 degrees. And that's it. My mind is literally blown away right now. So, goo!